We met, of all places, in front of Christides, some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. I rescued some Fruit Loops he dropped by the curb, and he made some remark that my smile was superb. I thought that was sweet, and I started to go when he said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here at the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at seven. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show. And there he was out in the cold with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. The next week we went to this terrible play. And the week after that drank hot chocolate all day. And suddenly eight or nine months had flown by and he said, hey, what you do in the rest of your life because I'll be here right beside you as long as you want me to be there's no question there is nothing I've wanted so much in my life this might sound immature but I'm totally sure you're the one and we had just begun we got hitched in September our favorite month with a rock band that played at this old synagogue. And we bought an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash. We decided to take the day off. He had to stop into his office that morning. And so I went walking uptown to this bakery I know. When I heard on the street, what I thought was a joke Till I saw all the sirens and saw all the smoke So I'm running back home with this feeling of dread To the voicemail he left With the last words he said I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin your evening By bringing up all of this stuff probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Well, today something happened that spooked me all right. This storm cloud of papers fell down from the sky. And I thought of that day, and I started to cry. When as sure as I breathe, I heard John clear as day saying, hey, you're allowed to move on. It's okay because I'll be here even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater even if you go out on my birthday this year instead of waiting at home letting all of life's moments pass by you don't have to cry because I'll be start to go back to the places we went to together when you take off my ring and you let yourself smile when you meet someone handsome and patient and true when he says that he wants to be married to you when you call him one night and he meets you downtown and you finally answer him yes yes Jason I will marry you I will give you my heart. It has taken so long, but I'm ready to start. Right now, John's whispering congrats in my ear, cause I finally let myself tell you 
that I will